Hello everybody, this is Free Summer G and a couple of my guild members and some members of the community have been asking me this question. And that question is how do I record my elsewhere gameplay with OBS? And they don't want to spend money on getting something like Bandicam or you don't have a graph a NVIDIA graphics cards for NVIDIA Shadow Play. So they like they wanna ask me how do I do it? So here today I'm gonna to show you how to do it, how you set up properly and Hopefully you probably get this high quality videos of the same thing as I do on my channel. Alright. So what you need is gonna be OBS Studio, which you're gonna to use to record our gameplay at. And the second thing you're gonna need is apparently your online Nell Sword. So you can record your gameplay. So I'll throw that out of the way for now. And what you wanna do is you wanna press the plus button, go to the very end called window capture, and you could rename it or you add any existing, but in this case I don't. And I'm gonna leave it as is because it's, I'm just doing it for demonstration sakes. And you should notice that like automatically it, should, it will pick up elsewhere right off the bat. So that's all good to go. Mm. And if you want to record your cursor, you can click it, you can leave it as is, but if you don't want to, you can unclick it and that should be gone. So press OK. And if you want, you have a certain resolution of your monitor, you should, you might want to check like what's your maximum resolution of your monitor can do, so you can have the best possible quality of your video. So for Elsword, I recommend really go to the options to graphics and check if the resolution is out maxed out or at least 1920 by 80p, since that's the that's the format we're going to record at. So I hit that one and have that done. And if you want to go full screen, you just simply press alternate and enter to. Make the uh, story go up. full screen. You can take up the whole entire screen, and you can have a full screen gameplay of, of you playing whatever you want. If it's from BBP or it's from BBP, BBE, or you do spar, or pretty much anything you want. So let me disengage that. And for those who are wondering about my settings, what's that? There's, there's pretty complicated at first because there's so many options you can do, but it looks hard at first. But actually, it's really, it's better that way because it gives you more options to play with. So, for my settings, personally, streaming should be a little bit different from your recording here, so you want to go for the most high quality as possible. So, in this one, I have all my settings right here. So in this case, I have recording from under a before, because that's the standard of YouTube, of YouTube videos these days. And from quarter, there's three different options you can use. One of them is going to be X264, Intel Quick Sync, and and the, in this case, there's a NVIDIA exclusive one it's called NVENC H264. For the for that one, if you at least have a an NVIDIA an NVIDIA graphics card in a desktop or a, probably a laptop, you can probably use this option and you can probably record your video with that. Since it takes out a lot, a lot of strength for your CPU, and then you can, you can record at also at very high quality. And if you if you don't have it and you have Intel, like at least an i3, i5, or i i7 you can use that option and for the rate control i changed it to constant bitrate which means it can constantly record at whatever it is bitrate put right here and it gives you a really good quality however the more the bitrate the more the larger the file size would be so i would be a little bit precaution of that one in this case but i might lower it down at least 35 135 hundred thousand because this very really optimal for my case, so again my video is recorded and have preset for as high quality, profile main, low audio. I say like if you're using the Intel the Intel Quick Sync, just leave it as is. Leave everything as is and if you need to change the bitrate, go ahead and change it. So it's all a matter about experimenting and such. And if you wanna <clears throat> one more thing. There's audio track right here and so like if you wanna record audio, multiple soundtracks it's like you wanna record yourself speaking or you wanna record the game sound or record your calls you can do that you have that option right here which is this next one you see there's i have since i set actually i don't have one in this case but if i were to do like a full-on complication i already i have my settings right here so for my prime microphone that's someone using this the microphone the yeah, stereo microphone that's someone using and for the primary desktop audio device it's the speakers this which means i'm recording everything right for my game for my second one, that's going to be the speakers of the microphone itself. And I set that on Discord and allowing that I could talk to my friends without how to hearing my game play out loud. Have that. So for the base resolution, you just copy what version of your of your monitor. In my case, I have a 1080p 
1080p one and for the outskirt you don't want to change that because you want to try to get the most best quality video as possible downscale filter you don't need to do it because you're not going to downscale your videos that much so leave it as that for common fps value on average you you could do at 30 that's the most standard most primary one of the frame width but you're going to go a little bit out of bounds you go for 60 just hope your cpu can handle it all and for hotkeys there's a couple of hotkeys you can do whenever you just in case you don't want to go back to the menu press the button to start recording or start streaming so in my case i have it right as a, a slash and you want to start recording i have a new i have a number minus I press apply, everything should be good to go in my case, so let's do a, let's pull all sorted up, let's do a real like test right now, so I'm going to bring my chum to a sparring room right now, let's see how to pull up my mouth real quick, get over there quickly, jump this way, let's go Camellia, let's do like a, a simple recording, oops, sparring, my bad, let's go free room, just do anything you want and you want to record just press the hotkey that you set up as and just record and when you stop recording just just press that button that you set it as so in this case going to do giant monkeys going to put like five of them put that little one 109 it spawns up like that wait for so my all the place but consistent uh, okay, I think we're good to go. So, do anything you want. Record, do anything you want. You can throw a bunch of stuff. In this case, I'm throwing a bunch of crap at him. <laughs> a couple more. Alright, we're good here. So let me disengage that. Let's get up Elsar. So after you record, you want to go find where you want to where you dump your video at. So in this case, I'm gonna be D drive slash OBS. So on my OBS folder, I should have a video some actually it's being recorded right now. So you can only see it, but you get away me now. So hopefully that video, this video can clarify anything regarding OBS recording so if you have any questions drop me down link below and I'll be willing to help you guys out so hopefully in the next video I'll see you next time and hopefully have fun with your recordings see you for now